hey, this is the richest guy in the world from crypto. And back to the news of the day, Binance founder Changpeng Zhao agreed to step down and plead guilty to violating criminal U.S. anti-money laundering charges, according to the Wall Street Journal. Following that story for us, Kate, what do we know? Hey, Scott, so Binance and its CEO plan... Ellen appearing side by side to announce criminal charges and a plea deal with Binance and its CEO, Changpeng Zhao, known as CZ. Can Binance maintain its market leader position without CZ? So it's been a long story that the CEO of Binance ha has been trying to dodge the global regulations in order to proceed with their operation. Finally, yesterday, the CEO of Binance, CZ, has pleaded guilty in front of US regulator. Let's try and understand how exactly things shaped up and what exactly happened with the CEO of Binance. For years, Binance founder, Shangpeng Zhao, better known as CZ, repeated a promise. Binance.com is embracing regulations all around the world. There's a very strong need for exchange that want to do, uh, operate everything properly. We welcome a, uh, anyone to look under the hood for our business. I think we, we, we run a very clean business. That his global cryptocurrency exchange would follow the rules and his company grew. In 2021, its monthly trade volume was greater than the next four biggest exchanges combined. But behind the scenes, Binance was dodging regulations a walking time bomb. Now CZ has a step down as CEO and pleaded guilty to criminal charges in the US. His company also pleaded guilty and agreed to pay fines totaling $4.3 billion. Binance became the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Now Binance is paying one of the largest corporate penalties in US history. Here's how Binance skirted regulation to rise to the top that same strategy brought it crashing down. The value system is a, uh, is a key ingredient that drove us to, to the success very quickly. This is CZ back in 2018. He started the company an year early. Within six months, Binance surpassed older exchanges to become the largest exchange in the world by trade volume. That's partly because CZ set Binance's sight on going global early on. But as it grew, Binance ran into regulatory issues almost immediately. First, with its original headquarters in China, where the government banned crypto exchanges soon after Binance was founded. We generally don't, don't like to go, uh, go up against governments, so we moved out of China. We're actually not, I mean, Tokyo right now, personally. And again, after moving to Japan, which warned the company against conducting trade without license. And after that, Binance stopped disclosing where it was based meant to break rules but basically gave them the edge to serve customers from so many different parts of the world. So Binance doesn't have a bank account, doesn't have an office, uh, so we're moving away from the company concept. Uh, we're really just an organization or a community that's working together. But that's also when Binance's lack of a home base started to make operations more complicated, especially in the US. About one-fifth of Binance's total users at that time were based in the US. Binance's chief compliance officer at, at that time messaged a colleague, I'm quoting, we are operating as an unlicensed security exchange in the US, bro. This is according to an uh, SEC filing. Are known for being sort of tough and a lot of, and a lot of times like the first to really start looking at something. Um, and it, the tendency is that other countries start following whatever the U.S. does. In order to comply with rules, the company launched Binance U.S. in September of 2019. It says the plan was for the site to use Binance's technology and brand, but operate independently of the original company and see. But behind the scenes... It was pretty clear, uh, based on the dialogues, that the intention there was to create a site that was for the U.S. users only, but also at the same time allowing U.S. users to continue to tap on the larger website to, to do their trading and bring U.S. money in to the exchange. Both the SEC and the DOJ started investigating the company's action and sent subpoenas to finances in 2020. And the other countries followed the suit. One of the largest industry players in the, in the world, we welcome regulations. Despite mounting skepticism, the company still continued to grow. At the beginning of 2022, CZ's net worth was estimated to briefly jump to nearly $100 billion, ranking himself among the CEOs like Mark Zuckerberg and Warren Buffett. Supposedly, he also collaborated with a lot of social media influencers to grab the attention of a young investor. 
Okay, this is the richest guy in the world from crypto, and you don't even know him. Hi, my name is CZ. He made over $60 billion, but his mom still called him stupid. Let me tell you his incredible story. But in 2023, following months of cratering crypto prices and collapses of FTX and other firms, things began to fall apart. In March, the CFTC sued Binance, alleging that the company was continuing to operate illegally, illegally in the US. In May, the company pulled out of Canada, its only major market in North America citing changes in regulation. Then in June, the SEC filed a lawsuit against CZ and Binance claiming that CZ had, had continued to maintain undisclosed control over Binance US. More countries began investigation and the, and the company pulled out of others, particularly in Europe. In July, Binance laid off an eighth of its staff and a number of core executives left the company. Then in November, Binance planned to pay the Department of Justice $4.3 billion in fine and plead guilty to a criminal charges. CZ pleaded guilty to violating anti-money laundering requirements, a deal that may allow the company to continue operating. However, he will maintain his majority ownership. In a statement on X, he said that he is stepping down as CEO. Rather than implement the basic anti-money laundering safeguards that his team recommended, safeguards required by U.S. law, Binance and its founder operated as though the rules didn't apply. As part of this settlement, Binance will have to comply with several, several rules. And that means you're going to have a lot of... Uh, a much tougher oversight from US authorities on exchange. And we'll take a break. He said that user funds are safe, a Binance term implying that they are safe. Richard Tang, Binance former head of global market will step in as CEO. Binance declined to comment but said in a public statement, these resolutions acknowledge our company's responsibility for historical criminal compliance violation and allow our company to turn the page on a challenging yet transformative chapter of learning and growth. It is unclear how the fallout of the charges for the world's largest crypto exchange could affect the broader market would really be an interesting event to see how exactly the crypto market survives after the fallout of Binance. That is going to be all from my side today guys. If you have learned anything viable and substantial from this video, please don't forget to like this video that will make YouTube Baba happy and don't mind subscribing our channel. Till I meet with the next interesting topic, I'm taking you leave. Thank you so very much.